nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Maybe throughout the city that we do every year, or is it really 
report? They're considering it tonight. It's been reviewed and um, by the superintendent and presenting it to the board. Okay. Skinny. Skinny. Yep. It discusses the uh, salary and related employment uh, expenses and other expenses. Um, is this going to require another vehicle?
increasing twelve thousand um, dollars, and that is the budget amendment before you. And one thing I need to mm -hmm. add to that is everybody here needs to sign. Assuming it passes, everybody will need to sign that document before we file it with the county clerk. So the motion is to adopt the No. 
the directors and uh, city staffs um, discussed uh, rural infrastructure issues. Um, and it was a excuse me interesting discussion. It was you know interesting listening to the bankers talk about how they have loan demand right now, but they don't have. They're struggling to get deposits because. Um, the return on on deposits right now is low, and many other things are a lot more attractive. And trying to figure out how to get their uh, loan to deposit ratios together, um, they have demand. And talk about some housing. Um, talk about child care. Um, and what else can we discuss within that, Lucas? In that session, uh, there was a brief discussion of the transportation plan. Okay, yes, yes. Um, then the, the lieutenant governor, governor met with uh, artists at the same thing gallery for lunch that was hosted by the mayor. Um, I guess you can report on that part of it. It's, it was a great discussion. You know, he was a pretty unique experience. You're sitting in the tourist hanging room surrounded by all the beautiful songs and paintings and, and um, he was quite, he and his wife were both there. And um, we're quite taken with all of that. And then all the artists, um, visual as well as performing artists that were there that day. It was a great discussion. Um, he was very aware of many things, but he was pleasantly surprised about all the things that are on the drawing board for us were to have been. So it was a great, great, great lunch. Um, in the afternoon, uh, Lieutenant Governor uh, visit, went to McPherson visited with uh, industry, had meetings with industry there, and uh, also visited Marquette. I know he had a meeting um, at uh, uh, Piper's Fine Foods. They are in the process of trying to, uh, well, see Piper's trying to retire, and, and but yet communities trying to retain the grocery store, and they talked about an investment model that is available through is it through Department of Commerce um, that to sustain that uh, uh, grocery store in Marquette? On uh, that evening, there was a uh, open community meeting with 80 participants from from across the region. Um, it wasn't the the governor spoke. The lieutenant governor spoke briefly, um, but looked at. Uh, Three main questions of well, how do you define prosperity? What are the obstacles and barriers to prosperity? And I forgot the third question. What's going right? What's going right? Yeah, what's going right? Um, and that was done in small groups. Um, small groups reported out um, many positive things. Childcare was a big one, and in terms of you 
Well, we're trying to get a joint meeting scheduled together.